As a leader, you've probably asked your team dozens of times, do you understand? But I'll wager you've rarely had anyone respond, no, I, I don't get it. Instead, they nod, smile, and remain silent, thinking they'll figure it out later. Some do, some don't. The best leaders know that the burden to be understood falls on their shoulders, the person who has the message and has the urgent need to communicate it. That's true even when you're the person with the problem. If you can't state a problem clearly, chances are you can't facilitate a team discussion to resolve it. So how should you take responsibility for making sure that your messages are understood? Well, here are four ways that leaders verify that they're communicating clearly. Repeat, repeat, repeat. If we learn anything from TV commercials, it's that frequency pays. Some sponsors use the very same ad two or three times within a couple of hours. Why? The human brain filters out noise. Sometimes we have to hear a message six, seven, even eight times before it begins to sink in. So if you're changing the way you want people to handle X process, understand that they'll need several reminders before that pops into their brain as the new normal process. Don't get frustrated by the fact that you said it already. Expect and plan to say it again and again and again. Unpack your message in several ways. Now, I'm not referring to that broken record technique that customer service agents frequently use, just repeating the same message in various ways. You know, like, we can't give refunds on products that have been used for more than two years. And if the customer persists, they repeat it. I'm sorry, but the receipt says you purchased this two years ago. We can't give a refund on a product that bought that long ago. And then they repeat it. Unfortunately, we give refunds on products if they fail during the first year. That's the extent of the warranty. And if the customer persists, they just say it again. That's not what I mean. Unpacking your message means to expand your meaning by elaborating. An example, let me give you a situation where this would apply. Or you might say, you may be wondering what the implications of this change will be. If you, let me highlight some of those that you might anticipate next quarter. Another example, to be more specific about what I mean with this new method of evaluation, let me give you a concrete example. Or you might say, I'm sure this is going to raise some questions for you. I certainly know that there would be questions in my own mind about what I've just said, so, so let me raise some of those issues myself and I'll address them. Or another example, you might say, what I've just said won't apply equally to everybody in the organization or even in your own department. Here's why. And then you'd elaborate. Or another example, here are some things that are going to be confusing. So let me give you an example of what we're not expecting from each of you managers. Here's another way to be clear. Use metaphors and analogies and illustrations. Here's an example. When we design the casing for the motor, we're going to install a little device that operates much like a zipper. So if we need to do maintenance on the machine, we can just unzip it with, without undoing the whole operation. Another example of a metaphor, your project has always been treated like a cancerous growth. No one in the organization wants to claim responsibility for starting it, and everyone has tried to kill it. Another common analogy in the sales industry, we hired the wrong applicant for our sales team. Obviously, she's a farmer and we needed a hunter. You've heard that one. These metaphors communicate a big concept in just a few words. Another way you can elaborate, ask for feedback. Your plans need a way to, under, to, to verify that people really do understand when you unpack the message. You don't know, so you need to verify for yourself that they understand. People, otherwise, people will either just sit there, say yes, again, smile and nod. Instead, focus their attention with specific questions. You might say, so how long do you think implementation will take? Or you might ask them, what problems do you anticipate in the rollout of this new program? 
Or you might ask, what will be your first few steps to get this underway? Or what kind of budget sounds right to accomplish what we've set out to do? Or do you think this is doable in the next three or four weeks? With their answers to these kind of questions, you yourself can, can verify if they really understand your communication. Now, you've heard it said communication is a two-way street, but being the leader demands that you pull the heaviest load.